Let's talk about the tackle that's been injuring players across the NFL, and it's called the hip drop. The hip drop tackle recently sent Mark Andrews to season-ending surgery and also scared Ravens fans as Lamar Jackson's ankle also got tangled up in a similar instance. The hip drop is odd as it mostly occurs when you are making the tackle from behind, trying to drag the player to the ground. What you're essentially doing is grabbing the player, twisting, and using their own weight to take them down. What tends to happen is that the ankle or foot can get caught underneath the player who's making the tackle, and since the ankle isn't able to move due to the defender's weight, there have been some significant ankle injuries and also potentially knee injuries as well. The hip drop tackle has affected not just those mentioned, but also the likes of Patrick Mahomes, Tony Pollard, and Geno Smith. The NFL is actually strongly considering looking at this in the offseason. In the Thursday night game between the Bengals and Ravens, it was linebacker Logan Wilson who attempted this tackle twice, once on Mark Andrews and once on Lamar Jackson. Kind of a tough look, given the fact that on two different plays, two players at least brushed up against injury at the very least. I feel like I've got a different stance than many on this, and I'm not sure if you can or should ban the hip drop tackle. And I mean, for one, it almost seems like the distinction between an ordinary tackle and a hip drop is more based on outcome. I mean, when you learn to tackle in football, it's wrap up and pull down. The hip drop is like that, except by the time you reach the NFL, a lot of tackles are, you know, force on force with the stronger man coming out. I understand why there's some frustration when players players are doing the hip drop instead of an ordinary squared up tackle, but how else are you really supposed to take someone down and make a hit from behind? There are almost certain circumstances where you can't avoid injury in a sport so physical. I don't want to see people hurt, but defenders are already handicapped in their ability to hit players, and at some point, I honestly believe you need to have, like, acceptable risk. Ultimately, this is the NFL. These are grown, powerful men. Tackling high has its risks, too, when it comes to injuries, and there are certain situations where you just need to take someone down from behind and it's sort of the price of doing business when you're playing a sport like football. If we want to keep the sport as it is, I think eliminating hip drops just doesn't make sense. Now, you can have rules, I think, and this might already be covered by the NFL rules, where you obviously penalize players who look like they're attempting to injure, who are throwing their body weight on players who are down. But outside of that, I'm not sure. Let me know your thoughts, though, down below.